Question 15. Write one number which fits all three of these statements. So it's got to be a multiple of 4, which we've written out the 4 times table here already. It's got to be a multiple of 6, and it's got to end in 8. Now there's no point writing out the 4 times table, the 6 times table, and all the numbers that end in 8. We might as well filter out the ones that we've got already. So if we get start with the 4 times table, 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on, up to 48. Now what we'll do is we'll filter out only those that are also multiples of 6. So which of these numbers are in the 6 times table? Well, 4 isn't, 8 isn't, 12 is, 16 isn't, 20 isn't, 24 is, 28 isn't, 32 isn't, 36 is in the 6 times table, 40 isn't, 44 isn't, and 48 is. So actually, we're only interested in those four numbers. But then if we move on to the third clue, it says it ends in 8. Well, which of the four numbers ends in 8? Well, 12 doesn't end in 8. 24 doesn't end in 8. 36 doesn't end in 8. 48 does end in 8. So that would be one number which fits all three statements, 48. 48 is a multiple of 4, because it is 12 times 4. It is a multiple of 6, because it is 8 times 6. And it does end in 8, because it is 48. So all three statements work out with 48. Moving on, we'll get a different colour. It says, explain why a number which ends in 3 cannot be a multiple of 4. Well, what you need to say is this. All numbers ending in 3 are odd. Every number that ends in 3 has got to be odd. Full stop. There's no other way of arguing about that. But then you need to make a statement about multiples of 4. So all numbers ending in 3 are odd. And actually, all multiples of 4 are even. So you can't have a number that ends in 3, which is going to be odd, also being a multiple of 4, which is even, because you can't have an odd number that is even. So that would finish it off. You can't have an odd number being even at the same time. And there's your answer.